I got three favorite lawyer movies. Everybody's got every lawyer's got favorite lawyer movies. Uh, my cousin Vinny, love that. Uh, A Time to Kill with Matthew McConaughey, and um, and also Lincoln Lawyer Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey makes a good TV lawyer. He, he just does. Um, I don't know why. So I may have dated myself a little bit with those movies, but I'm telling you, they're great movies. Um, they're, they're, they're timeless. You should go watch them if you've not watched them. So why do I like those movies? At the firm I initially started with, you know, it was like we had a movie night, and everybody went and watched My Cousin Vinny. You know, it was playing rerun on some screen in Macon. Joe Pesci in, in that movie, uh, his uh, lack of experience is – clearly evident and this guy has no clue what he's doing uh, but he gets to the truth he actually goes and sits down with people listens to them weighs their version of events against the other evidence and finds the inconsistencies and then he uses those inconsistencies in court he shows them um, it's a very good example of what a good trial lawyer is going to do you can't develop your entire case sitting in your office. Uh, I can sit up in my office all day, every day, cranking out work, you're working hard. But unless I go actually talk to people, unless I actually go to the scene where things happen, you know, view the evidence and get out there out of my office and beat the street, you know, do some groundwork, I'm going to miss out on all that great evidence. Um, it took me a while to figure out what trial lawyers are supposed to do. Because in law school, you learn the law. You know, you learn legal analysis. Um, you know, read this case, apply it to these facts, you know, and, and what happens. What they don't tell you is in real life, you're not going to get a nice, neat little sheet of paper that tells you all the facts. <laughs> you know, you're not going to get that. Like, what do you mean? I, how, how do I apply the law if I don't know the facts? Um, your job as a trial lawyer is to get out and, and find out those facts, uh, you know, what are we going to put into this case? What facts are we going to put in to run it through the legal analysis to yield a result? Um, Joe Pesci does a great job of that in that case. So that, that's, that's why I like that one. Um, a Time to Kill, just an awesome movie. I mean, if, if you don't like that movie, something's wrong with you, in my personal opinion. I, I think it cuts across. Um, you know, it just cuts across all, all boundaries, all barriers. Uh, what I like about that case, it, well, about, about that movie, is that Matthew McConaughey is accused of being obsessed with his case. Matthew McConaughey goes through a lot of turmoil, a lot of problems uh, for the betterment of his client's case. I think that the the ability to identify with a client and be a champion for their cause is really shown in that movie. Um, you know, Matthew McConaughey had very little incentive to do what he did in that movie, aside from the fact that it was the right thing to do. Uh, you know, maybe I'm a little bit naive, uh, but from time to time, I do get clients that I feel that way about. Uh, from time to time, I'll get clients that I just I look at them and I just want to I just want to hug them. I hate to say it, you know, because sometimes that may not be professional. My lawyer hugged me, but um, you know, I really want to see them succeed. Um, and and the way Matthew McConaughey goes about doing that in that case, in that movie uh, really speaks to me. My wife used to get so tired of watching that movie. <laughs> She'd come home. I already have it on. It's like a three and a half hour movie, but uh, if you haven't watched it, it's great. And then lastly, uh, Lincoln Lawyer, another Matthew McConaughey movie. Um, there are things I like about that movie and things that I don't like. Um, and if you've not watched the movie, this might be a spoiler for you. So uh, don't, don't listen to this. You're, you're being warned. I like Matthew McConaughey's approach in that case, in, in that, uh, in that movie because the way he goes about defending the case is realistic. You know, there's not this, you know, Matlock moment where someone jumps up and yells, I did it, but it's a lot of 
small, subtle uh, points that he scores over an extended period of time that yields a good result. And, it, and why it's realistic is if it's a lopsided case, like if all the if, – if one side clearly is going to win, why are you at trial? Uh, you know, why isn't that case being resolved? Whether it be a civil case or a criminal case. I mean, if all the facts are against you and you have no hope, why are you there? Uh, why not just accept a settlement and move on? Either side, whether it be defense or prosecution. Um, so when you have these close cases – the, 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 the best approach, the most conservative approach, and, and probably the, the approach that's going to yield the best result is to you know, subtly score points over an extended period of time. Uh, and Matthew McConaughey does that in a very, very skillful way in that movie. What I don't like about it is the witness tampering. Uh, there is some witness tampering that goes on. Uh, it makes for great TV, great movie. Uh, very, you know, oh, oh, goodness, drama. Uh, but big no, no, we don't do that. 